Uh, Mr. Pathan, at one end, yes, questions need to be raised over the legality of this demolition drive that has taken place over the last two days, which many say that A, there is nothing uh, illegal about the construction, and in one case, the house doesn't even belong to the accused. But on the other hand, there's a question that has been posed by a co-panelist. Would you care to answer that, sir? Well, first and foremost, Priti, I have always said and I reiterate that violence of all kinds is condemnable and we don't support violence. Our party stand is clear if Nupur Sharma has committed, uh, some, if, if she stated so something against our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which she should have not said, she tried to insult and we will not tolerate that. So we have said that let the law of the land take its own course. Let she be punished as per the law. Did you now come here as I said, so let him finish. The Let's go one on by one. Constitution and the rule of law. Go ahead, Mr. Well, Patel, make your point. The country will run on the constitution and follow the rule of law and not on the bulldozer politics. Now coming back to Allahabad, what happens to the place of Afrin Fatima? She has clear, categorically stated that the house belongs to her mother. Her mother has been making the payments, the bills of the municipality and everything. And if the yogi government felt that it was illegal, so what were they doing for the last seven years? And let me tell you, yogi is not the chief justice of Uttar Pradesh, he is the CM of Uttar Pradesh. He should not take law into his own hand. In law, it is said that a man is presumed to be innocent unless and until proven guilty by the courts of law. But here you are just going there with a bulldozer, bulldozing the premises. And what did they do? First they picked up the Javed uh, Saab, his wife, his daughter. And all of a sudden, without going notice, you go there and bulldoze. Is this democracy? Are they following the constitution? Is this rule of law? Then what is the use of the courts? Why don't we shut down all the courts in the country? And if you find that a man is indulging in this activity straight away, hang him. Go with a bulldozer, demolish his home. If this is the way they want to run, then what will happen to our great nation, Bharat? That is why I always say they are trying to destroy the pluralism, secularism of our country. Now, ex-Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court, Allahabad High Court, I am talking about him, he has said so. And in your paper itself, the Indian experts reported that you cannot use bulldozer, you cannot demolish. Demolition itself is an illegal act. Now, so will we follow the ex-Chief Justice uh, statement or should we go ahead and follow the statement which, which have been given by the so-called fringe elements of the BJP and their likes? Okay. We have to follow the law. See, if law is not followed properly, the, why they are targeting a particular community, let me tell you. The thing which we are seeing is that particular community, the Muslims, are being targeted. What happened to Ajay Kumar Tennyson? His son went there with the Thar car and he had uh, killed okay. five of our protesting farmers who were protesting of his pulley. Did Yogi's bulldozer went to his home and was his home demolished? No. So this is what we say that the systematic targeting of the Muslim community by using the bulldozer politics, okay. which Ratan is Shardha. not good for the constitution and the democracy. Right. Ratan Shardha, you know, that's what he said. You just don't need to be fair. You need to be a pair to be fair. And here, there are questions that are being raised, sir. Would you at least reckon and uh, accept that these questions are justified? Because, yes, protests take place and then immediately right after, that's the area which is targeted by the bulldozers? Well, if you look at the destruction of uh, illegal properties in UP, in Noida, most of the houses that were destroyed or uh, demolished were of Hindus. This particular action has been going on in UP for long. It is not that has suddenly happened. Now, Mr. Varish Patan has to decide whether it was seven-year-old illegal structure or it is something that happened just now because he makes a contradictory statement. And he has not, he never, he never condemned either the abuse of Hindu gods Never, uh, never uh, condemn their MP saying that she should be hanged, hanged publicly. So you can't keep on talking constitution without following it. Mm -hmm. They, they said in public in Ram Mandir case that हमको भीख नहीं चाहिए to Supreme Court judgment. That is what they said. So when you, you, you when you use constitution very, very sparingly, and when triple talaq case came up, you said you don't agree with it. If this is the situation, not to talk. And what is the if we say that that how they right. belong to that lady, it only shows that demolition of houses and these uh, uh, riot cases are not connected. But and Mr. Mr. Rajan Shah, what are you accusing the your co-panelists of today? Just Sir. a moment. Yes, Have they point. criticized the new, uh, another fatwa by a Malvi that next Friday also there will be protest? They will not. Because they want the society to burn. A party which is based on the name of Muslim, Ustuhud um, uh, uh, and Muslimin talks of secularism. They okay. talk about constitution, it suits them. Okay, Mr. So, constitution has said it is a double-edged sword. Be careful. 